Hey guys, it's Nicole with your Intuitive Reads for mid-June 2018 to the end of June 2018. Deleted my intro video again, so let's do it. Take two. Um, these are general read, guys. It will not resonate with everyone. If this reading does not resonate with you, make sure you check your sun, moon, and rising. Also, if you guys would like to request a personal read, you can do that through my email, intimatewisdomtarot at gmail.com. I'll make sure to put that link at the bottom. You can also gain instant access to me 24 hours a day on Instago. Type in www.instagram.com and go dot com slash intimate wisdom to get to me you can also download that on your app store for my iphone ios users for my returner subscribers hey how y'all doing if you're new please make sure you hit that subscribe button over here also hit that notification bell aries. this is for aries couples this is my boot up aries mid-month june 2018 what messages what energy are we bringing for care for aries carries so you guys could be dealing with the cancer aries couples Mid June 2018, what energy are we bringing for Aries couples? Got the world card, something is coming to an end with the sun card, so something new can begin. There's something, some clarity in this ending as well. So, this is closure. You guys are getting closure into a situation, or you're starting a new cycle with someone. But this is a couple's read for me to pull the world card as the first card in a couple's read. This is a relationship that is over. All right, so let me give these a good shuffle before we start. We're going to be melding energies within this so we can come to a conclusion on what's going to happen mid-month June. For my Aries, what emotions, feelings, and intentions do they have for their mate mid-June 2018? What emotions, intent, and messages do Aries have, I guess, for their mate mid-June? Mm. So somebody's going to be telling somebody that they found love. They found the person they want to be with. Yep. Somebody going to be telling somebody they found the person they want to be with. So that's it. King of Wands, Aries, you're ready to leave. You're ready to leave. You are ready to leave. You are attracted to someone else. Someone has seduced you. You are attracted to someone else. You are desiring someone else. And you're going to speak your truth about this situation. Why is this page of swords here? I told you this is an ending. Why is this page of swords here for Aries? Mm -mm. Some truth gonna be told. Why is this page of swords here? This could be you telling your truth. Are you speaking the truth to someone? Because you, all right. If you ain't speaking the truth, you're gonna find out the truth. Okay, we got this seven of swords with this five of swords. Someone's questioning a love. Someone's questioning a love that started. So either someone has found out that you're sneaking with somebody else, that you've got a new relationship, you've been traveling, moving, you plan on moving with somebody else, regardless of what it is, somebody's going to find out about some lies, about some dishonesty or some dishonesty, dishonesty. Same shit. Somebody's going to find out. With this nine of cups here, we're talking about true love energy. We're talking about concerns fading away. Maybe once your truth, mm -hmm. this is what you've been waiting on. You've been waiting on some, you've been waiting on the truth of this situation to come about for a minute so that you can move forward with this chariot card. It's not the right time. It's not the right time. It's the right time because this cycle has to end, but I got a strong feeling about the cards that I'm pulling. This one cause a lot of bullshit. All right, so with the King of Wands here, we're talking about someone focusing on their path, okay? With the Chariot right beside it. Someone focusing on their path with the Ace of Swords. Okay, we got the Death card here with the Knight of Wands. Some transition happened. Something ended. Something ended. And someone's been beaten, brattered, a bruise within this, a bruise, abused within this situation. But with the Ace of Swords, it's the truth. It's the, it, the truth had to come out. Someone had to speak their truth. This King of Wands, you had to speak your truth. Okay, you have to speak your truth. You want to be independent from this situation with the chariot card. You want to move into something different. Okay, you may be trying to join forces with someone. Mm -mm. You're moving. You're moving, Aries. You're moving away from this situation. You do not want to commit to this relationship any longer. With the chariot card, and mind you, I got the chariot card with the six of wands and the will of fortune. This is victory. So maybe once you tell the truth, your concerns fade away with the situation. Could be dealing with the cancer. But this is someone that don't want to commit. You don't want to commit. Something's changed. You feel victory within movement. You want to move forward away from the situation. Mm -hmm. You want to work on your own foundation. With the eight of swords, we're talking about cycles here. Um, the cycle of lust. Mm. With the Capricorn, we got to deal with the Capricorn. Eight of swords here. 
This is someone who's afraid to take a leap of faith. Someone who's trapped by their own thoughts, their own desires. Why is this Eight of Swords here for Aries? The Knight of Cups. You feel trapped by your own thoughts because your emotions are imbalanced. With the Magician, you're being manipulative because your emotions are imbalanced. You're trying to be controlling. You're trying to run from a situation. Either you're falling in love with someone from the past, possibly a Cancer Scorpio, someone that's been on hold, I'm getting, or you're putting a relationship on hold to concentrate on yourself because you feel like you have the power to. You have the power to move forward by yourself. You're getting out of a cycle because you don't want to be in it anymore. Some of you are moving toward a Cancer. Some of you are just moving toward your own sanity. Okay? You're rejecting a new beginning in a relationship. Let's see what your partner is. And this is a relationship. So maybe your partner wants to mend the relationship and you don't. You want to move forward. You want to be alone. The magician is one. You want to end the cycle and be by yourself. You feel like you'd be better by yourself. You don't want to commit. But the king of wands, this is someone who does not want to commit. What, is Ari what are Aries, thought Aries partner's thoughts and intentions? within this relationship. What are Aries partner's thoughts and intentions within this relationship? What are Aries partner's thoughts and intentions within this relationship? Aries partner's thoughts and intentions within this relationship. Mm -hmm. Your partner is very much on defense because they can feel this move. But your partner's wanting to move forward with you. They're not seeing this situation clearly. They're not seeing that you don't want to be um, in this relationship. They don't want to give up on this relationship. They don't want to give up. They may want something more meaningful from you, but they don't want to give up on this relationship. With the two of swords, your partner's not seeing this situation clearly. And they're not communicating what their desires are. There's no communication when it comes to true desires within the situation. Okay? So with the Six of Swords here, this is a movement forward, mental movement forward. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here for Aries partner? Y'all, I'm sorry, I'm in the hood. I'll be looking outside. Why is the Six of Swords here for Aries partner? Possibly I got on a little bitty, uh... Your partner might... Whoa! So mentally, your partner going toward another person, too. Y'all moving toward each other. Y'all moving... Y'all not moving toward each other. Mm-mm. No, y'all not moving toward each other. Y'all moving toward different situations. Your partner moving toward someone else. And if not someone else, they're just moving toward something else. Meaning they want peace. They want peace. So they're moving toward it. With the lover's card and the ace of cups on the six of swords, your partner's moving toward a new relationship. The nine of wands is like they're defensive because they're defensive about it because of family situations. something or they're defensive about it because of a plan let's see yeah your partner they're tired of fighting with you they're very defensive about the situation they're tired of fighting they're tired of arguing and even if they don't want to move toward a new partner they know mentally with the six of swords you're moving towards someone else so either both of you are moving towards someone else or they are, and I believe they know, and they're going to speak it with this page of swords. Your partner know you're moving towards someone else. They know that you want something different and they're going to speak it into existence. With the four of wands, you guys are in a family. This is a family. Your partner's upset right now. Why is this four of wands here? Why is this four of wands here? Mm-hmm. We got some sorrow here. Some defeat. The emperor. So yeah, now you're in a situation. The conflict now is whether or not your partner even wants to. This is a marriage or a really committed relationship. And your partner now is they're trying to defend this marriage, but it's causing a mental conflict because they know that you don't want to be with them no more. And I'm saying marriage, this can be a relationship. This can be just a foundation where you guys live together. Um, whatever the situation, your partner's trying to defend this. They know that mentally you're moving on, but they're still trying to hold on and defend what this relationship or this life that you guys have created. Um, but it's causing mental conflict with them. Your partner is very, very hurt, very heartbroken by this. They want to continue working. With this Eight of Cups and this Eight of Pentacles, they want to work towards something more meaningful with you. They want to start something more meaningful with you. They're willing to take the leap. 
but you're not willing to adjust. With the Emperor card here, you're still, you got your belt. You got, you got that wall up. You don't want to give into this situation. Mm -hmm. The Six of Swords, you're moving forward mentally. You're, you're putting your energy into another situation, into another partner. Okay, so if you're, I don't believe your partner's moving as well. And this could be vice versa. This could be flipped. It doesn't have to be um, you. It could be your partner. It could be you. Whatever the situation, the other party does not want to end this situation. What's going on with the relationship? Aries, May, June, 2018. What's going on with the relationship? Aries, May, June, 2018. What's going on with the relationship? Aries, May, June, 2018. Someone's not stressed about it no more. They are actually, someone is very much in their head about it. But someone wants to be single. Two of Swords again. There will be a lack of communication. Or put it like this. There will be communication. With the Five of Swords in reverse, this will be very negative communication. With the Nine of Swords coming from you, Aries, or coming to you. So, your person... Is tired of stressing over this. Your person may decide that there's too much work for them with the Ten of Wands and they want to be single with the Nine of Pentacles. They may decide that they're just going to concentrate on themselves, concentrate on whatever they have, their fruits, their foundation. With the Two of Swords, someone's cutting communication off. And I think before, your partner wasn't communicating their thoughts, but that once they communicate their thoughts with this Page of Swords and they tell you how they feel and that they feel like you've been cheating and that somebody else or you tell them whatever the situation, now communication will be cut. Okay, it'll be no longer why you won't talk to me. It'll be like, please talk to me. Okay, please talk to me. Please talk to me. And maybe that's what you want. I don't know. But that's, <laughs> it's not going to be as nice as you think. It is. All right, so let's see. What can Aries do to bring more love? Integrity, okay? Take some integrity for your actions, for the things that have happened in the past. Take some integrity for your actions, okay? Demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul with individuality. If you want to be single, tell the truth. Tell the fucking truth. What messages do we have for Aries? Couples, mid-June. All right. Passion. It says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. We got worth waiting for. So you may need to wait and not make any impulsive actions right now, Aries. That's all I got.